Hi, it's Oscar. Welcome to another How with ServiceNow. In this episode, I'm excited to show you one thing that most developers ever wanted. How to create PDFs from ServiceNow. All right, so this is the homepage for Parallax JS PDF library. Here you can download the JS PDF library and you can browse all the distinct examples that they have where you can try um, the library itself uh, with these um, basic examples. Also, uh, they have a GitHub uh, site for JS PDF where you can download all the code, um, do some research, make changes, do whatever you need and learn more about this amazing library, JS PDF. All right, now let's see in action the JS PDF library. So I'm, I'm just logging into a ServiceNow instance. I created a UI page and here I have the basic demo example, same one as distributed in the JS PDF uh, GitHub site. So it's very simple just to create a new object for JS PDF. And then we can add some text uh, given the coordinates. Uh, we can add pages and as well, again, add another um, string or title or whatever we want uh, text in, in that page. And then we actually do doc save and this is going to get us and produce a PDF and immediately it will download. So if I run this code, uh, clicking on the button, so that code in JavaScript is going to run and then is going to open and create the PDF. As we can see, we have the two lines of text and then we added another page and also we have um, the text for that page. All right, so that's very simple, um, very straightforward because we are actually just um, entering some text, a static task, and then we're just producing the PDF. But with ServiceNow, how we can do this is uh, to get backend data, correct? So we're gonna pull first an incident information, incident um, data from an incident. So we have to enter an incident number. So we're gonna browse which one do we want. Maybe we want something with uh, David Miller. So I'm gonna just copy this um, number. Then I get back to the other page and I'll paste it here. And then I get the incident. Clicking on this button is going to query in the back end this incident and is going to pull information from in the, this incident. Of course, the number, the color, the state which is new, and the short description. Okay, so it's a single page, nothing more, and plain text added in this in this PDF uh, document. Now, the best part is that also we can leverage, um, you know, out of the box uh, reference fields as well in this UI page, right? So we can now select a chain request uh, based on the uh, filter selection, any change request that is active. I can simply just um, get anything I want. Uh, I'm gonna pick this change and then just um, click on get change. And this is as well going to produce the PDF. All right, so even the name of the PDF has the change number, same as uh, when I pulled the incident. And then we have some information for this uh, chain request that I just selected. So very simple, very easy way to create PDF with information coming from the back end in ServiceNow. Now let me show you a little bit on the back end. What exactly I'm doing in the back end is that I just created this script include in order to pull information from the front end. So basically what I'm having here is a class that I, is client callable 
and then two functions get the incident and then we just receive the parameter we actually do a glide record on the incident with the number given in the parameter we just query the incident record and we create an object with the number color state and short description and that's what we return uh stringifying um, the object in the into the json format in similar way, we got a get change function, which actually also gets the number. Uh, we query the chain request uh, with that number given. We create the object and we have some attributes for number requested by state and short description. And as well, we return that in JSON format. Now let's take a look into the UI page. Uh, on the HTML, the most important line is actually the way we are pulling or um, declaring the um, the library, right? So we have a CDN site where we can pull the library minified. So with just this single line, we're actually loading this library into ServiceNow in the UI page. And the rest is just HTML and, um, and how to get entered the incident number and the change number okay so we're actually using the uh, macro for ui reference and and here in this part of the html in order to select the chain requests and that's how we get the pop-up window for the uh, reference field and for the buttons we're just calling uh, we're just calling um, a function in JavaScript for demo incident and demo change. If we go to the client script, this is the the nail part in order to, to run the JS PDF library. So this is the most important line here as well. So we're actually making JS PDF um, object available in the window. And uh, we have our two, um, actually three functions. First is the demo for two pages. The actual uh, first example, pretty much out of the box from the library, where uh, we have two pages and we have some text that we have added, and then we're saving that uh, PDF. Of course, we have the demo incident function where also we're calling, um, we're creating an instance of J JS PDF object and um, uh, we're actually pulling the incident a number value. And then we're just making a call with light Ajax uh, passing that number. So we're returning all the information in JSON format. So we're parsing that uh, JSON um, in, in that JSON format into an object for the incident. And, that's, and then that's what we're actually entering as a text in the PDF, uh, providing um, the coordinates on where we want to place that in the document. Then we're just basically saving the document and this will create the, the document with the incident number. And then it will immediately, immediately download the, the file. Uh, as well as the demo change, um, also we're creating that object for JSPDF. Um, here we're actually getting the change number uh, from a hidden field, and then we're querying and getting all that information in JSON format as well. And then we're just actually putting some text into the a PDF document, and then we're just saving, and immediately the file will get downloaded. So this is the easiest way to start creating PDFs from ServiceNow. This is a UI page, but in the upcoming videos, you will start seeing uh, more features about this library and how it can be leveraged with the out-of-the-box functionality from ServiceNow platform. So stay tuned. So um, there would be more videos about it. And uh, this is the... Um, I found this uh, library, I think it's pretty awesome because now we would be able to create those PDFs from ServiceNow, leverage uh, the Glide record uh, from the platform plus this library, then we can produce um, uh, very interesting things about the PDF. So uh, stay tuned, uh, hope you enjoyed this. I will 
um, publish this code uh, as soon as I can and then it would be available in the comments of this video in the description and then you can uh, download this code and try it yourself all right thank you very much and uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe